the sun is having a fiesta on part of my face. <laughs> it is absolutely hot as fuck outside. It's like it's I believe that today is the first day of summer, right? The the, the 21st of June. We are in solstice. Here we go. Solstice sounds like a um a flavor of like a beverage or something, right? Anyway, let's dive into it. The theme of this video is staying in a relationship that is unfulfilling, right? Um, and I think a majority of the element that I'm going to be really utilizing as a tool to explore this video is a uh, repetition compulsion, right? Repeating patterns. Um, because that's really how all of this stuff works. You know, we are repeating patterns from childhood. Um, depending on what it is that we learned, we are repeating patterns about that, right? And so I'm going to dive into an interesting kind of universe here and talk about how there have been, there, there has been at least one time, I'm pretty sure more than that, where I have been in a relationship, no names, right? Um, but when I was in the relationship, I, uh, and when I say relationship, I'm referring to romantic. Um, I was in a relationship, right? And uh, I thought that the dynamics of the relationship were just the way that relationships work. Um, you know, and not to, not to bullshit here, it, it fucking sucked. There was, again, I mean, the theme of this video is staying in relationships that are unfulfilling. Um, the relationship was exceedingly unfulfilling. And I held this belief in my mind throughout my entire life that, uh, that's just the way, and, and I, I know why I'm not going to dive into the fabric, the material as to why I learned that relationships are supposed to be that way. Um, but yeah, I was in a relationship with somebody and um, it was exceedingly unfulfilling. And I remember there being certain times where like another woman would come along, right? And like I would connect with that woman and like I would have a really nice time. I would, I would really enjoy connecting with that woman. And then like, I would like look back at my relationship and it wasn't like I was like, like cheating or anything. Right. It's just that like, I noticed that like, I, maybe I, I connected really well with the person, with the, with the, with the woman. Right. And then I looked back at my relationship with, you know, the, the, the woman that I was with at the time. And, um, just my, my entire energy dynamic changed, you know, like it went from connecting with somebody that I really enjoyed the experience of to going back to, um, you know, the, the, the relationship that I was in and just kind of being like, it, it started to grow on me over time. And so, again, the biggest thing to look, when I say it started to grow on me over time, I mean, like, it started to become more and more apparent to me that I was, I'm going to take it, I'm going to take this a step further and not just say unfulfilled, deeply fucking miserable, right? Um, there are people that stay in unfulfilling relationships. I've been there, um, as I just communicated that remain in those relationships and they choose not just unfulfillment, but deep fucking misery. Right. Um, and so, you know, I really, I really started to look at it and I'm like, I just had a really great experience with this woman over here. Right. I wasn't, I wasn't cheating or anything. I was just, I was connecting. I was talking to somebody. I was learning about them. Right. And, um, you know, I would go back to my relationship, 
right? I mean, not that I left the relationship. It's just like, it's kind of like I put my energy and focus over here on this other woman. And then after I was done with that, that amazing experience, I went back over here, right? And it's like, you know, I look at it now and it's like, wow, like I was going from a really good experience to quite honestly, hell, you know? It's like I was going from heaven to hell. I'm, I, again, I'm, I, or not, not again, but I, um, I don't intend to get into like religious stuff. I'm, I don't really consider myself religious <laughs> at all. Um, I'm just using it as like a metaphor to, you know, like, like, oh my god, this is incredible. To oh my god, this is fucking awful and terrifying, right? Um, incredible and beautiful, awful, terrifying. Um, and now at this point in my life. I have enough conscious awareness of self, my own fucked upness, you know, what happened to me, and I'm not going to get into that, but um, that led me to understand my specific repetition compulsion uh, theme and why I've chosen what I've chosen and everything. And like, like, I, I truly, I, I've been in at least one relationship with a woman where I was deeply unfulfilled and, um, and I can imagine that back then I also contributed to, you know, probably um, unfulfillment in that person to some extent. You know, I'm a, I'm a human. I contribute to bullshit sometimes. That's just the way that it is. Um, but like being in the experience of, you know, like something far fucking better. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to dilute it. Far fucking better. Right. And then going back to, you know, the fucking shithole that I was in. Um, You know, I look at it now and I'm like, well, now I know why I've done that to myself. That's first and foremost. Secondly, I now know what it is that I actually want to experience, right? It's wild to stay in an unfulfilling relationship and... I would argue also based on my own experiences that likely the reason why a person stays in an unfulfilling relationship is because, well, I mean, there, there are multiple reasons, but you might believe that that's what you deserve. You might believe that there's nothing else better for you out there. Um, and you might also be, um, gaslighted into believing that there's nothing else better out there for you. Oh, nobody will ever love you. Like I love you. Yeah, that's that's a really fucked up thing to tell somebody. It really is. Um, a lot of these different tactics and dynamics are what lead people to stay in unfulfilling relationships. So again, there are multiple parts to this. I would say one of the biggest things is repetition compulsion, right? You're in a relationship with somebody and it's likely based on your mommy and daddy shit. It's likely based on the, um, you know, the, the caretaker experience that dynamic what you learned um what has been modeled for you and everything um and i'm gonna straight up call it for what the fuck it is unfulfilling relationships are fucking unfulfilling relationships right um they leave you fucking drained um they're just not fun they're not fulfilling right and so looking again at the you know the pattern repetition aspect of it, the repetition compulsion. I believe that this was coined by Freud, right? Um, We're all just doing what we learned and we're repeating it over and over and over again, right? So the important thing to do is to ask yourself why you're doing it. That's really like the, the, the most important thing out of all of this is just to ask yourself why you're doing it. Why am I choosing to stay with somebody that I'm not happy with? Um, why am I choosing to continue doing the same thing over and 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 over again? Um, you know, just really start asking yourself that question. Like, there have been relationships. There's There's been at least one relationship that I've been in where I thought that I was going to be with the woman for the rest of my life, right? Um... And it's just so fascinating because I really needed the outsider perspective of 
the relationship falling apart and ending and then me being able to like look back at it and be like oh wow that relationship was really unfulfilling and I have a deeper it's not, it's not good or bad or right or wrong right um it's not a matter of like oh that person is bad or that person was bad no 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 it's, it's not about that it's just about like you know i i see it happen where like somebody is deeply fucking unfulfilled in a relationship um and again this is also from my own experience too right um i've seen it happen where somebody's deeply unfulfilled in a relationship and you know they stay in the relationship for so long they probably fear it ending even though they're deeply unfulfilled and then it finally fucking falls apart and ends and then they grieve and then they look back and they're like ew right like like wow i tolerated bullshit in that relationship that sucked that was deeply unfulfilling so yeah again um it's about repetition compulsion right i'll say that one more time because i feel like the way that i said that was kind of strange it's about repetition compulsion, right? Repeating patterns from childhood of what was modeled for you. If you stay in an unfulfilling relationship, it's likely because that was modeled for you and you were taught that it's normal to stay in an unfulfilling relationship. And it's also normal to do absolutely fucking nothing about an unfulfilling relationship so that it continues just to get more and more unfulfilling. Um, and you probably somehow justify or rationalize you're staying there and being there um oh this is just the way that relationships are supposed to be even though there's something drastically more beautiful over there right or not not even that like it could be like you know what it's probably best for me to be single and be alone right now and be by myself and learn more about myself and develop my own sense of self and you know figure out what it is that i actually want and need right um yeah, unfulfilling relationships are not fun, and staying in them is even more not fun, um, or less fun, however you want to say it. And it's just fascinating. It's fascinating how we are all repeating patterns, right? This this whole thing, this whole element of repetition compulsion is real. So becoming aware of that is what changes everything. <laughs>